Welcome back to another episode of the Building a Dynasty. And this week we are taking on the 7 and 7 49ers. And we are currently sitting at 6 and 8 ourselves. And if we win these last three games, it's a possibility we can make the playoffs. Which I don't know if we want to necessarily make the playoffs, but we're not going to throw games. So if we don't win against the 49ers, then we won't make it. I know for sure we have to beat the 49ers and the Dallas Cowboys. So if we lose this week, then I may sit some starters, get some other guys some looks for week 17 and week 18 and just focus on next season because we're not making the playoffs. So we might as well play for the draft position at that point. Before we hop into this game, let's take a quick look at the playoff bracket. Philly is currently in first place. We have a win over Philly, and Dallas is in fifth place. So 49ers are in fourth. That means they're probably going to win their division. But if we can beat the 49ers and beat Dallas, we made the playoffs for sure. Even with a terrible record, that means we made the playoffs. I know we'll make the playoffs. We got to win those two games to make the playoffs. We're going to go out here and see if we can make some magic happen. For this week on the scouting the prospects, we're going to look at linebackers and I believe it's a couple D linemen that we're going to show a little interest in. Next, we're going to check out linebackers, but I don't think we'll be here very long because a lot of these guys aren't projected high. So that means it's not a good draft for linebackers. Obviously, you can find a diamond in the rough, but if you look at the third guy, he's projected to go day three and then all the rest on day three. So. We'll go through these really quickly and see what the rest of them have to offer. Tevin Harris, 6'2", 254 from Bethune-Cookman, another HBCU. Loves to use a spin move. Will lose his power and leverage the bull rush through people. As far as his physicals, good to great acceleration, poor to marginal agility, change direction, poor to marginal, solid jumping, marginal decent speed, solid strength. We don't need an athlete at linebacker, but we already have athletes at linebacker, so it's kind of hard to sway away from it. I like what we've been doing, so... He has a C man coverage, B hit power. We can add to the list for now. We can add to the list for now because we could use another linebacker. Karis Chambers, 6'3, 261 from New Hampshire. Good to great acceleration, port of marginal change of direction, decent and solid jumping, marginal decent speed, solid good strength, B to D awareness, C block shedding, D hit power, B pursuit, power moves to B as well. His zone and man coverage are both C to F. I think that is a big part of our defense. So if a guy can't cover nobody as a linebacker, we need you to cover a little bit. So if it's anything less than the C, we'll have to cut him, but I think we'll add him to the list for now. Tyler Bowen, 6'3", 232. I personally have a thing where I like my linebackers to be at least 240, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass him. Even if he's status. I mean, if anything, we may move him to safety, but I don't think he has the speed. Nicholas Dickens, 6'5", 242 from Louisiana Tech. C awareness, C block shedding, catching the F, B to D finesse, C to F hit power, B to D impact block, B to D injury, C to F man coverage. I mean, I think we're going to pass him as well. C to F zone, C to F zone. He's not even in shape. D power moves. I don't see anything impressive about him. So we're going to pass on him. Last guy we're going to look at from the linebackers is Terrence Broyles, 6'3", 245, Southern Illinois. Physical player who delivers bone crushing hits, often looks to rip the ball out. A to C awareness, B to D shedding, F catching, F hit power, D man covers, D zone, and D tackling here a linebacker. So, here's to say, he's out. Next up is middle linebackers. They have a couple people that's worth looking at, so we're going to look at them really quickly, but the ones that I think are worth having, we won't be able to get. Michael Henderson's first on this list is 6'4", 250 from Colorado, one of Deion Sanders' new projects, I'm assuming. <laughs> B awareness, B block shedding, A hit power, C man coverage, C zone. He's pretty solid. I mean, my thing is... Are we realistically going to have a chance at getting him on our team? And I don't think so. I don't think realistically we'll have a chance because, like I said, we're focusing on offensive linemen in this first round. And if the guys we end up saying this is who we want to go with, if they're projected first round picks, we got to go. We can't run the risk of them hoping they fall to the second round. So we're going to add them to the board, but I don't think we'll be scouting him long. Eric Turner. 6'1", 248 from Georgetown. He has C block shading, D pursuit, D tackling, D zone coverage, so we're gonna pass on him. 
he can't play for us. Brett Reaver, 6'1", 226, that's a safety. And can he run to even play safety for us? Marginal decent, marginal decent, no he can't. So <laughs> Peter Mickens, 6'1", 232, another guy who's too small for me to play linebacker. And this is all my personal opinions on this, so I'm going to run my teeth the way I want. You guys are more than welcome to do whatever you want with your team, but for me, I don't want anyone that's under 240 playing linebacker for me. 230, you can play safety if you've got the athleticism, but... As far as I'm concerned, I'm good at that. John Wilkinson, 6'3", 249 from Boston College. Has a motor that runs through the whistle. Shows good discipline, won't get flagged much. Be the awareness, be hit power, deep pursuit, be man coverage, which is a big deal for us C tackle, so we're going to add him to the list. George Westlake, 6'255 from LSU. B awareness, A man coverage, A hit power, D pursuit, B to D zone, C tackling. We definitely add them to the list. Anybody who can play coverage with us can play for us. Man coverage is a big part of our defense. So if you can play man, you're you're probably going to be on the team. So I'm super excited to see what this guy can become. So he's definitely on the board. Next we have more outside linebackers. Dwayne Kidd, 6'2", 257 for USC. Has a motor that runs through the whistle, often looks to rip the ball from runners, loves to utilize a swim move, just the typical stuff that they say about good linebackers. Decent solid speed, good to great strength, good to great jumping, decent solid acceleration, agility, and change of direction. B to C awareness, A block shedding, A power move, C finesse, F zone, C to D man. Uh, kind of concerning you can't cover but I do see potential with you could potentially play a little end for us so we're gonna put it on the board junior Davidson 6'1 247 for Notre Dame will utilize power and leverage through bulls has a swift arm over move for his arsenal a awareness F finesse move B pursuit C man coverage B zone coverage A tackle A to C tackle A to C injury for that, I think we're going to add him to the board too. Rob Rich, <laughs> 6'4", 260 from Eastern Washington. I think we're probably going to pass on him because 260, I doubt he can cover anybody. Yeah, F-man coverage, I kind of put that together when he was 260. I wouldn't ask a man who's 260 pounds to try to cover somebody. He's a rushing linebacker or, you know, a guy's going to send the box more than anything. Frank Sheldon, 6'5", 246 from East Carolina. B awareness, B pursuit, D play recognition, D man coverage, A to C tackle, C to F zone. Sorry, Frank. Just don't make the cut, buddy. Now, hear me out. Carl Gary, day three potential pick. Is he related to NFL veteran Rashad Gary? Question mark. Both play linebacker. Both about the same size, 6'3", 270. I mean, I don't know. A to C awareness, B power moves, C play recognition. Man covers is an F, which is concerning, but I think we're going to add them and just, just scout them. We're just going to scout them, see what happens. Quick little update before we jump into the game. This is the last thing I'm going to interrupt you guys with is we got the three guys we originally spotlight scouted their results have came back and this is what we have learned the first guys who result came back was desmond pierce the quarterback from iowa we were looking at he's 80 percent now he's not 100 i wish he would have been 100 but unfortunately he's not but we're going to make it work uh, we learned a couple more of his skills he has d awareness d break sack d to f carrying which is concerning because i believe he's more so tuned towards a running quarterback be under pressure, D throw on the run. So maybe he's not a running quarterback. No, he's not a running quarterback. He has a good to great arm. Eh, I mean, nothing's really popping out at me. So I believe when we get to the combine and the pro day, that's when we're going to make a decision on right now. Right now, we're going to keep him on the board. Jamie Huntington is officially 100% scouted. And through that, we have learned that he is a top five talent which is big time so we definitely need to find a way to be able to get him if we can get him later in the draft in the first round that would be an awesome steal look at all the skills he's a almost everything he's c injury b stamina b awareness but 
Anything passing, he's an A, so he's definitely locked in. We have to take this guy. And the last guy we used our focus scout on was Teddy Alum, who we also learned is a first round talent. And he's literally A's everything, A's across the board. I mean, he is probably a generational center. So I got kind of lucky picking this guy. But I was just curious because like, he already had A to C on everything, or he already showed that he had A's in a lot of things. So I figured why not go ahead and fully find him out. And he is projected to be a beast. So hopefully we get a steal with this guy. I'm hoping he develops as well. So we know two guys for sure we're taking, which is Teddy Alum and Jamie Huntington. All right, first play of the game. No Christian McCaffrey? Hey, Jeff, oh yeah, Jeff Wilson is still here. So I guess we caught a break there. Debo Samuels is gas, and it's the second play of the game. Jimmy Garoppolo is not a good quarterback. <laughs> I expect the same outcome as Daniel Jones. He's going to dink and dunk a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I knew that as much. Okay, I got I got a trick for that. There we go. Tackle for a loss. I don't know what they think this is. Running the option with Jimmy Garoppolo. Nope. I mean, he's nope. not running like somebody who's tired. Dang, he's huffing and puffing before the snap. And all of a sudden, he turns into Superman. Come on, defense. Let's make a play. Let's make a play. Expose him! Expose him! Oh, my God. You just got marked by Devo Samuels. <laughs> oh, man. That did not go according to the plan, but hey. Office on the field, and we can score at the best of them. Oh, we got guys getting shedded out there. Third and six. I'm really looking for Sims, but if Terrace gets open here, that would be awesome. Nope, I got Sims. Oh, he dropped it. I hate when we have quick three and outs, man. They're so deflating. Oh, we got to nope. stay. What is going on, fellas? We got to play better covers than that. And then we just don't make the tackle. It's gonna be a long game. We playing like this defense. Come on, I'm telling you which way he's nope. running. I just I don't know, man. I'm telling you which way the route is going. Yep, we're in the backfield. You're not running read options with Jimmy Garoppolo. Stop it. They're in goal again. Got to find ways to get him off the field. And he's just going to walk in the end zone. Oh, man. What is going on, defense? Come on. Oh, my God. We just let, we just let Jimmy Garoppolo just trot his bitch ass in the end zone. This game is not going according to plan. So I got Anthony Swartz with a bomb. Let's go. You can't guard Anthony Swartz 101. Big time play, baby. This is too much speed, man. Come on, Divas. Let's get a stop. Let's get a three and out right here. Oh my goodness. All right, we gotta switch it up. We gotta come out of four three. Look at Jimmy Garoppolo juke moving like he's Michael Vick. Oh my goodness. Nope. And Debo Samuels is a dog in open field, so yeah. Oh man. Let's come out here and move the ball. Come on. Oh no, Malik. We're in a big hole, third and 17. Nick Bosa's in the zone. Come on. 
Terrace Marshall with the first down pickup. Let's go. You gotta block somebody, Cam. Come on now. We just got you in the lineup. Don't lose your job. Anthony Swartz again beat this dude. Let's go, Anthony. That's another touchdown. Let's go, man. Defense, y'all need to lock in. Come on, defense. Let's get a stop. Let's get a stop here. I'm on them. I'm on them. I'm on them. Let's go. Great tackle. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. One more stop. One more stop. Oh, no. I don't know, man. I tell them to run the out, and they don't guard the out. Play outside, and they jump inside. Another crazy catch by Debo Samuels. Down 10 to start the second half. We got to bounce back. We got to score this possession and get the stop. Anthony Swartz is officially over 2,000 yards receiving this year. Crazy season for him. Let's go, Terrace. Terrace Marshall with another big play. Touchdown. Let's go, the offense. They're doing their thing, man. We need defense to come out here and step up. If defense gives us a stop, we can win this game. I just think about how much more scary this will be if they had Christian. <laughs> come on, defense. One more stop. One more stop. One more stop. Let's go, defense. We'll get around to Malik. Gotta watch out for Nick Bosa, man. Yeah, he's fast, but not fast enough. Ah, uh, he read that. I haven't thrown a pick in weeks, and then I go out here and throw one. I lost so much faith in Albert that I just don't throw him the ball anymore, but that's on me. I got to get on the ball. He was open. Nope. Why is he, bro? And then we can't get a hit stick on him. He ain't fumbled yet. Get off the blocks. There we go. They're not running the ball on us, which is good. Just got to get a stop on one of these passes. I'm playing this out. Bro, if Jimmy Garoppolo breaks another tackle, I'm just going to uninstall game. <gasps> There's the ball. Let's go. Let's go, defense. Nope, nope, not fast enough. Yeah, I had to make up for that last one, Albert. Cam? Let's go, Cam. Big time catch. Oh, yeah. Terrace Marshall, touchdown. Let's go, man. How is Jimmy not fumbled? Debo Sam is fumbled, but Jimmy has a fumble. One more stop, defense. One more stop. Make that tackle. Let's go, defense. Troy Anderson on the read there. Great play. Three minutes away from winning this game. 
check it down. The fullback. I think that's his first catch all year. Terrace, tough catch for the first down. You press my receivers, I'm, I'm taking the shot. No, no, no. Why would he? Oh, my goodness. Bonehead play by me. Jimmy Garoppolo is only throwing three completions. Crazy. That's that's it. That's it. Let's go. That's how you get the ball back. That is the ball game, man. Fred wanted to pick this all twice. Okay, Malik. Ah, oh, you gotta stay in bounds, Malik. Malik on the scramble. Let's go, Malik. There's no love for the all man CPU. We're still trying to put points up. We're still trying to put points up. And they're just gonna keep calling timeouts for us. Anthony Swartz with a tough catch in traffic. Let's go ahead and cap it off with a touchdown on our favorite play, the Terrace Marshall. Nice. What a comeback win. It did not look good in the very beginning, but we were able to pull it off. That is the ball game. They're down two scores. It doesn't matter even if they complete it. I just, I just can't with Madden. And they're allowing them to go for the two. The game is over. Regardless they get the two or not, they're letting them go for the two. This is this game, man. Doesn't matter. We got the win. Just threw a ridiculous Harold Mary in the game. We got the win. I'm not going to let that damper my mood. We won. Came from behind to win this game at that. Sandown played the best this game. 11-19. 300 yards passing. Four touchdowns though with two picks. I mean, I will say two picks was on me. I just was not trusting Albert in certain situations. And then one was just a bad decision. So I can't even put that on him, but... Uh, we had one drop that I remember off the top of my head, but you know, Sam has to play better if we're going to make any type of hope in the playoff. Blake Willis had a better outing, has better days before, but he had a decent game at best. 12 carries, 74 yards, 6 yards of carry, wasn't able to find the end zone, but he definitely gave us some key first downs when we needed them. Terrace Marshall had 7 catches, 156 yards, and 3 touchdowns, and Anthony Swartz damn near had a touchdown every time he touched the ball. 3 catches, 150 yards, and 2 touchdowns. They kept pressing them on the outside, and you know you cannot press our receivers. They're too talented for it. They're going to go by you. Sims also had a big catch late in the game for a first down. Our fullback had his first catch of his career, and Albert also made a big catch later in the game. Christian Harris led some tackles with eight, and Kalen Barnes also had eight tackles as well, which is really high for our corner, but hey, he was out there making plays to the best of his ability. Troy Anderson had a tackle for a loss, and as far as sacks, we had none on the game, which is extremely disappointing for the group of guys we got here. We usually get at least one, but the fact we had none in this game, we got to play better. We did have one pick from Jamar Johnson on the tip by Kalen Barr, so big play by him. Had some guys step up when needed. Injury update, Milton Williams has a torn labrum, and he's out for four weeks, which... <laughs> 
means he won't be back until the Super Bowl if we somehow make the Super Bowl. So he's essentially done for the season. That, that's going to hurt. Losing our best D tackle, that's definitely going to hurt. Hopefully guys step up and make plays. But losing a guy like that is not going to be an easy thing. There you have it. We pulled off a come from behind victory, which it was not looking good at first. It wasn't looking good, but we made it happen. Next week, we have the Cleveland Browns. And after that, we have the most important game of the year, Dallas at home. If we beat Dallas, we make the playoffs. So let's go out here. Whatever happens in Cleveland, I'm not too worried about, but we have to beat Dallas. We have to have to beat Dallas. We beat Dallas, we're in the playoffs. But that's all I got for you guys. So I'm Jace Hasty. Until the next one, peace.